Hey everyone, I'm Warren Dean from Datatail. Today I'm going to show you how to connect Power BI to Google Analytics. And I'm also going to give you this template. I've got a lot of other videos showing you how to connect to your social media data. So feel free to check them out and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So to build this report, what we need to do is get some data. We go into the home ribbon here, get data more. We can search for Google and we have Google Analytics here. If I select connect. It's going to give me a warning that this is a third party service. Um, it could at some point disappear. You can tick to not get that warning anymore. So I'm just clicked on continue. Now you need to obviously have Google Analytics with, so that was my Gmail account that I connected with. I've got Google Analytics set up with that. And I'm going to open up my Datatail website up again and here I'm going to go to all website data and here it's all broken out into various folders now there's many different ways that you can use data I'm just using some examples so feel free to follow these examples if you have some better examples feel free to post it down in the comments It'd be great to see how else you've used this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to user and we can see the options in user. Now I'm gonna pick user here. So the total number of users for the time period. So 8,252. Now I need something to look at the users by. So I'm gonna open up the time folder and I'm gonna grab the date. So now I have the users broken down by the date. And the last thing I want to look at is the device category. So that's under platform and device. Open up that folder and I can look at the device category. So I'm going to bring this table in. And we can see here, this is what we're going to do here. So this is the one I've done. I've gone to users, I've taken users, I've gone to time, I've taken date, and I've gone to platform and device, and I've taken device category. All this information I'll, I'll post down the bottom for you so you can see. So what else can we do? I'm going to go and grab sessions. I'm going to grab the Google city. So what city and what continent, what country. And I'm also going to have a look at visitors. So I'll just show you where they all are. I won't do it um, because if you're going to use this template, you don't have to do this. Um, and this is just an example anyway. So we have under geo network. This is where I would get information about the city, the continent, the country, even a latitude and longitude. Close it up. Uh, sessions, we've got information about sessions. So how long was someone on the page for, or how long was their session on your website? Um, you know, is that session increasing over time? So you can grab those again, they're all from here and I'll post that down below. So I'm just going to cancel because I've already done that and brought them in here. So there's no changes that I've made to this. Um, and I'll just show you how you can create this report. So in this example here, I have a line and stacked chart. And I have a calendar table, which is connecting this year month. If I open up Google sessions, all I have there is the session duration and the sessions. So here we can see that over time, um, which is great. My sessions are getting longer and I'm getting more sessions on my website. Um, so peaking here in June, July, which is great. 
Uh, this one is a custom visual. This is the BCI calendar. So with the BCI calendar, I'm taking the date and I'm just taking the count of users from that Google visitors table. Um, and then I am using conditional formatting, or not conditional formatting, uh, but it's standard within this visual. So I'm using a gradient and I'm putting diversion on and I want when I didn't have many users to be light blue in the middle yellow and my max users red. So here I can see 146 users on this day and we can even compare this. So if I have a look at my actual Google Analytics um, here we can see so on the 27th I had 17 users close that so on the 27th 17 users so those numbers are matching up with Google Analytics which is great so again you can set the diverging color the calendar is really good because I can see over time you know here I can see obviously I don't get a lot of visitors on the weekend on Saturdays is, is a low day so you know I don't really want to post up blogs on the weekend now here we have the countries um, I can see the country that most people visit my website from is Australia. Next is America, US, and India. And all this comes out of that Google City table where I have country and users. So that's that one. And that's a very basic map, um, just the standard map in Power BI. And this is an image. And on top of the image, I've just got some cards where I'm looking at the type. Um, so I've just got a, some measures which are just calculating and looking just at mobile and just at tablet and just at desktop. Um, this is an image. Just note in the September 2020 release, we now have the ability to maintain layer order. So I've turned that on. So then when we publish to the service, you can see here, if someone clicks on something, it's going to happen and then they're going to lose the the cards so if they, they have to click off uh, but putting maintain layer order on when you publish it to the service it doesn't matter even if they click here that's not going to pop up so it, that's really good for putting images behind our cards i hope you enjoyed it if you want a copy of this pbit the link is down below please like subscribe Share, tag with me on LinkedIn. Love to see what you can do with your own Google Analytics.